Hello friends and many blessings to you all. Welcome to another Friday Pick a Card Bundle. Today I have got three piles for you and we are using four different card decks today which um, I will reveal and show to you shortly. But uh, before we show you the cards that are in the, the piles today, I'd like you to really just take a moment and um, close your eyes, settle your breathing, just become aware of the sights and the feelings and the sensations around you. Clear your head, clear your heart, and just ask that you be guided to which of these three piles contains the message that we need to hear today. Our messages today are going to be quite quite detailed and quite in-depth. Um, and um, yeah, just allow yourself to just, oh, just release strain, tension, worry, concern. Release anything that you have happening inside your head and your heart. And just allow your breathing to settle into a normal, natural rhythm. And then see which of these three piles really calls at you. Which of these three piles is really saying to you, pick me, pick me, pick me. When you've got the pile that works for you, when you've got the pile that you are resonating with today, um, just make a note of it so that you can jump ahead to that particular video or that particular section of the video to receive your message. So the cards that we are going to use today, the cards that you can see, the ones that are visible here, are the Animal Spirit Oracle from Colette Baron reed We've got one card from that deck. Um, we are then using the Everyday Witch by Deborah Blake Tarot, and there are two cards from that deck. I am also using the Tarot Everywhere from Over the Moon Academy, and there are two cards from that deck as well and then finally i have another oracle deck and it is the work your light oracle by rebecca campbell and i have got two cards from that deck as well so all in all you've got two four six seven cards that we will be reading today which will absolutely give you a really strong detailed message so friends thank you for watching i do hope that you get the message you need today um inspired by spirit and um, you may now jump straight ahead to the portion of the video that contains your message for one, two, or three. With love and blessings, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon. So welcome to those of you who have chosen pile number one as your message for today. Um, I have laid out the cards here in front of us so you can see the four different tarot decks or the four different card systems or card decks that I'm using today. We're going to read them from left to right and um, just to go through and show you which ones we are using. Right on the end over here we are using Spirit Animal Oracle cards by Colette Baron reed Over here we have some tarot and today we are using the Everyday Witch Tarot by Deborah Blake and over here we have Tarot Everywhere which is from Over the Moon Academy and on the end over here, finally, we're going to some oracle cards from the Work Your Light Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. So you can see we're doing two cards from each of these three, but there's only one spirit animal from the oracle deck. So we're going to get straight into it today and let's have a look and see what we have. So which spirit animal do we have for you today? And we have the lizard spirit. Oh, how interesting. And it says to you, dream dream the world into being so the first thing that i wanted uh, i asked myself is like what is a lizard what do lizards do where do we find lizards you know what is the what are they known for what is their, their their speciality and the first thing that comes to mind is i always seem to think seem to see lizards lying in the sun um they, they seem to do nothing but just lie in the sun relax <clears throat> keep to themselves do whatever they want to do but they really just are soaking in the glory of the sun aren't they um dream the world into being so that tells us that yes while they are lying in the sun and basking in that beautiful sun energy they are dreaming imagining creating a future for themselves that they really want really look forward to so that's quite interesting um so clearly those of you who have chosen card number one you need to be a little bit of a lizard <laughs> let's have a look and see what the other cards say to give us more clarity on that one i'm going to leave our lizard lying over there right so we're going to go into our everyday witch tarot and i have the two cards today let's see if i can pick them up okay all right so really interesting cards 
today. I just want to put it that you can see them. The first card we have is the death card and the next one we have after that is the three of wands. So let's just immediately talk about the death card. Obviously the death card, everyone's going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Please don't, don't panic, don't stress. The death card does not mean literal death. But what it does mean is the letting go of and the ending of circumstances, situations, people, places, etc. that no longer serve you. You know, sometimes we have to let go of the old in order to make space for the new. Um, so the death card, gosh, I'm throwing it around. The death card is, is really not a scary card. It's not one to be to be worried about. It's not one to panic about at all. It's telling us that we need to let go of something. And I think it, I'm going to stop bringing the lizard into it now. So the lizard is telling you that you are hoping for, dreaming, wishing for better, wishing for the sunshine, wishing for happiness, wishing for joy, but it's not happening for you. You need to let go of stuff in your life, let go of circumstances, people, situations. You know what? Even mindsets, you know, sometimes it's our thinking, it's our conditioning, it's the way we perceive life that holds us back, okay? And then attached to the devil card, sorry, the death card, we have the three of wands. So the three of wands is, is another very interesting card because the three of wands is talking about decisions made and then going, oh my gosh, what have I done? Have I made the right decision? Eek, can I do this? And it's also a case of once the decision's been made, there's no going back on it, okay? Once you've made the decision, you can't change your mind. You can't go back on it. You need to trust and believe that you have and have the patience for it to manifest and have the patience for it to come into fruition. So you are clearly wanting more happiness, more success, more joy, more pleasure in your life. But you can't have that while you are still living the life the way it used to be, while you are experiencing things not in the way that you should be okay so you've made the decision you you've you've made the decision even if it is only in your mind and it's now time to act on it it's now time to allow that to manifest and to come through for you so that you can have the joy and the success and the happiness that you want in your life so we're going straight on to another tarot deck okay um two other tarot cards just as additional information i mean i could have done four from that deck but i just find the imagery um and and it just gives us a little bit more a little bit more inspiration okay so looking at these two cards the first one we have and these are our photographs which really are just so awesome i hope my camera is focusing on those um so what we have here are two cups cards and, and cups generally refers to relationships cups refers to relationships and emotions and things like that so the two cups cards we have is the ace of cups and the three of cups so the ace of cups generally talks about new new emotional situations your relationships connections with other people but it talks ace is brand new number one is brand new cups is relationships so there's a new way of thinking there's a new way of feeling there's a new connection with another human being there's a new individual situational circumstances coming into your life but only if you let go okay the three of cups is talking about celebration of relationships celebration of attachments and relationships to self and to others so when we let go okay so we desire we wish we dream for better happy brighter clearer etc we need to let go of the past we need to let go of whatever is no longer serving us there's a situation a circumstance a person a something in your life that's not longer serving you let it go chuck it out with the with the dishwater okay that decision that you have made, that decision that you have put, uh, made and put into action, you need to now just allow it to, to manifest and to come to fruition for you. There's going to be a new connection with another soul. There's going to be a new relationship with another individual who is going to bring you the success, the happiness, and the joy that you are looking for. And when that comes through for you, we need to celebrate it. When that comes through for you, we need to celebrate it. We need to we need to sing praise, we need to spend time with our friends, we need to really enjoy and celebrate all the good that is coming to us. Okay, we're now going to have a look at our last set of cards, which is the Work Your Light Oracle by Rebecca Campbell, and let's have a look and see what we have here. So these cards are always so beautiful. Oh, the images are just stunning, stunning, stunning. The first card we have is the Age of Light, and it says you have been training for this for a long time, oh, sorry, for lifetimes, okay, you have been training for this for lifetimes, wow, 
So whatever this is that's happening, whatever this is that you're dreaming for, hoping for, needing to let go of, making the decisions to, to allow change to come into your life, the new people, the new situations, the new emotional beings that are coming through that you need to celebrate, this is your destiny. This is something that you have been training for, for your entire life, and it says actually for many lifetimes. So it's a case of just allowing it to actually happen, allowing it to come through for you. Okay, and this one is the priestess card and it says, how are you being called to step up and lead? How are you being called to step up and lead? So that is telling us that this particular situation that you are in at the moment, oh, doesn't want to focus. Um, this particular situation that you are in at the moment that we've already identified and picked up over here you having to set the way, you need, having to set the path or open the door so that other people can enjoy happiness and success and all of those good things as well. So you are having to be the one to let go. You are the one that has to make the decision, allow the new situations, people and circumstances, celebrate those. Because you've been training for this for your entire lifetime, and it says actually for lifetimes more than one, um, and you are the leader, you are the one, you are the priestess, you have to step up and open up the door and show others how it's done, show others how they can go about having this, this happiness, this success that they want. So it starts with a dream and it ends off with an action. It starts off with a dream, we have to go through a little bit of pain and discomfort, we have to let go, we have to get rid of, we have to burn, we have to dispose of whatever the words are that we want to use there we have to do that so that then we can make decisions then we can decide what's truly going to happen new people new circumstances new emotions new situations will come into your life that you will celebrate that you will enjoy that you will actually have so much pleasure from um, this is your destiny this is your lifetime this is your journey this is your path this is your everything and you are doing it so that other people can also be happy too. So how are you being called to step up and lead? By letting go, by showing people that it's okay, by showing people that we can do this. Friends, with love and blessings, that is such a good message for those of you who chose pile number one. And I do hope that there is something in that that you resonate with, that there is something in that that speaks to your heart and soul. And uh, you can take something from that message today. With love and blessings, friends. Take care. And welcome to those of you who have chosen Pile 2 as your message for today. I have laid out the cards here in front of us so that you can see exactly the, the, well, the different um, card systems or the card decks that we are using. We have four different card systems and I have two for each of those but only one on the end here so what are these cards you may be asking on the left hand side over here we have the spirit animal oracle by Colette Baron Reed there's only one card from there today over here is our first tarot deck and it is the everyday witch tarot by Deborah Blake this pile over here there are two cards from tarot everywhere by over the moon academy and finally, at the end over here, we have another two oracle cards from the Work Your Light Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. So we're going to read them from left to right, as always, and um, see the message and try and tie it in. And hopefully it's a, a good message for those of you who chose pile number two. So we're going to start off with the Spirit Animal Oracle, if I can pick it up. Oh, look at that. So the one that you've picked today, or the one that Spirit have given you, is the Sandpiper Spirit. And um, the Sandpiper, I'm just hoping my camera focuses that you can see it. The Sandpiper spirit with the message of be playful. Okay. So Sandpipers, if, if you are familiar with the bird, I must be honest and say I am not. But just looking at the picture and what I do know, they, they tend to be quite um, energetic little birds. They tend to be quite busy little birds. But they, they're not only focused on, on finding food, but they are focused on, well, they always seem to be having fun. We seem to be moving around almost like in a little bit of a dance. And I think that's going to be the kind of theme for us today is that we need to learn how to have fun. We need to learn how to find our true core center, our true core self, and make sure that um, we are doing what is necessary, such as 
food and lodgings, but at the same time, we need to make sure that we are having fun on our journey. So it'll be interesting to see how it ties in with the rest of the cards. We're going to go straight into our tarot. And the tarot, the first, oh gosh, I can't pick them up. The first one we have is from the Everyday Witch Tarot. All right, so we have, oh, I love these cards. They are such fun. Um, just let's see if the camera will focus on them so that you can see them. So the first one we have is the Hermit, and then we also have is the Eight of Cups. So if we look at the Hermit on its own, first of all, okay, I'm going to try and hold it up that hopefully the camera will focus on it. The Hermit is a card of, of solitude. It's a card of being alone. It's a card of walking your own path, um, not relying on anybody else, being completely on your own and being okay with being on your own and realizing that you don't necessarily need anybody else. And sometimes the journey that we need to go on is a solitary journey and we need to find balance, peace and happiness within ourselves and not in circumstances, situations and with other people. We have a cute little owl in the corner over there um, and yeah, she's quite happy to be sitting. She's got her animals around her. She's got everybody that she needs around her and she is quite okay. She is quite comfortable with that, okay? But she needs to be a little bit introspection, uh, introspective. She needs to look within herself to find out what is truly important and what is truly significant, okay, in her life. Um, the Eight of Cups is, is such an interesting card because here we have our lady who has put her, cu her cups on the table. She's exposing everything that she owns, everything that she has, and she's saying, you know what, maybe it's not enough. Maybe there's more out there. So she's choosing to walk away. She's choosing to walk a little bit further to have a look and to see what else is available. So basically the question she's asking is, is this life that I'm li living at the moment? Is this existence that I'm having? Is this all there is? Is that is that all there is or is there more? Okay, because if she walks this path, if we could just see a little bit further here, we're going to see that she's um, going to go and stand on a cliff and look to see if there is anything more out there for her. So let's bring this, these two cards into our Sandpiper spirit that's telling us to be playful. So maybe this is saying to you that you are, you've been a little bit too serious lately, okay? You've been trying so hard to, to find your true self, to find your true purpose, to find your true meaning. And you keep wondering if this is it. You keep wondering if this is as good as it gets, if this is all that there is, or if you need to keep searching and keep looking, okay? Sandpipe is saying to be playful. So maybe you, and if I look, because these two cards are both quite serious, okay? They're quite dark, or not dark, sorry, deep. They're quite deep in their meanings and quite deep in their interpretation. So maybe we need to just lighten up a little bit. Maybe we need to just have a little bit more fun and not take life so seriously. But let's have a look and see what the other tarot cards have to say. Okay, sure. Right, so we're carrying on with the, the, the deep theme because we have the Five of Cups and we have the Three of Swords. So the Five of Cups, if we have a look at this particular deck, right? So this is a photography deck, which is oh, just amazing. Um, so here we've got a lady who's like, oh, she's lying on the ground and she's like, you know what? Oh, I'm not interested. I just, you know what? I'm just going to lie here. I'm just going to sulk. I'm going to feel sorry for myself. I'm not going to participate. I I just want to, just, just leave me. Just leave me be, you know, it's that kind of a, a mindset. And the Three of Swords is is generally about heartbreak. The Three of Swords is is generally about my heart is broken, okay? Um, but sometimes we have to have the the pain and the discomfort that comes with the broken heart, with feeling disillusioned, with feeling a little bit disinterested with life um, in order to find our happy, you know? So again, let me stick these cards all together. Sorry, let me just rearrange. And hopefully it will all come into view that you can see it all. So Sandpipe is telling us to be playful. The Hermit is telling us that you have been or you need to look within yourself to find the true calling, the answers and whatever you need. You're not going to find it by walking away. You're not going to find it by going on another adventure. Yes, you're feeling despondent. Yes, you're feeling disinterested. Yes, you're feeling like, oh, I couldn't be bothered. And you probably are experiencing some heart heartache. You probably are experiencing some pain and discomfort in your heart. But we need to lighten up. I think that's what Sandpiper is saying, is we need to lighten up. 
We don't need to be so serious the whole time. Okay, let's have a look at what Rebecca Campbell's Work Your Light Oracle has for us. Um, it may bring things into perspective. Okay, let me try and hold them that you can see. So the first card we have here on the left-hand side says no. It says wait, postpone, pause, say no. Let's see if it will focus on that. Okay, so and the other one says fill up your well, retreat, rest and refuel. So, wow. Okay, so this certainly does bring quite an interesting message. I know the camera view is quite dark today, friends. Forgive me for that. Um, I'm not a lighting expert when it comes to the videos and trying to get all the, the, the lighting as good as it needs to be. Okay, so let's have a look at what, we, what we've got going here. No, you're feeling this way because maybe you're not saying no enough. You're feeling like, oh, can I just retreat, escape and go away? Can I just focus on me for a minute? I don't know if this is as good as it gets. I don't know if I need to be looking for, for other opportunities. I just want to rest. I just want to just leave me alone for five minutes. My heart is sore. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. But maybe if I learn to say no, maybe if I learn to, to just tell everybody to go away and leave me alone for five minutes, um, it will allow me to fill up my well. It will allow me to take the rest that I need to refuel my energies, to replenish my, my soul. So that I can be a little bit more playful and I can learn how to enjoy the situations and the circumstances that I have in front of me. So this is certainly a really interesting spread for those of you who chose message number two. So you are clearly doing too much for yourself. You are clearly taking on too much, let's rather say, and feeling like you have the, the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, and if you just learn how to say no, if you just learn how to say to people, you know what, I can't do it. Not today. Not today. Not tomorrow. Maybe not even another time. Give me a chance. So be playful. Take a holiday. Take a holiday. Even if you go to the woods, even if you go to the woods and camp for a couple of days, go and take that rest. Allow yourself a chance to just catch up. Allow yourself to process and deal with the hurt and the pain and the discomfort that you possibly have going on around you at the moment. And take the time out for yourself. Say no. Be playful. Be happy. Have a little bit of joy in your life. With love and blessings, friends, I hope that message gave you the answers, the inspiration, the guidance that you need. With love and blessings. Until next time. Bye-bye. So welcome to those of you who chose pile three as the pile that has the message that you need to hear today. I have laid out the cards so that you can see the four different card decks that we're going to be using today. And you can see that there is one from this deck and two each from those three decks. Um, just to give you an idea or to let you know what the cards are that we're using. The card on the left over here that we have is the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron reed and here we have two cards from the Everyday Witch Tarot deck. And we have two cards here from the Tarot. Sorry, Everyday Witch Tarot is by Deborah Black. And Tarot everywhere here, we've got two cards. And that is from Over the Moon Academy. And finally, over here, we've got another two Oracle cards from the Work Your Light Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. So we're going to read them from left to right and see the kind of message that we get today. So, right, let's have a look. The first one we have is your um, Spirit Animal Oracle. And you've got the Koi Fish. Okay, so let's see if I can get it to zoom in. Koi Fish Spirit, it says there is always enough. Um, koi Fish is such an interesting um, symbol, such an interesting animal, because they thrive in small confined spaces. They thrive in not a lot. And they seem to, to get bigger and more beautiful under really not always perfect conditions, okay? Um, you know, you would think that you would need an entire ocean to really get big and beautiful, but they don't. And koi fish is, is really the symbol of abundance, okay? It's look at the gold, look at the shining, look at the beautiful. And that's really what the koi fish, and when it says there is always enough, you know, koi fish never look at their pond and go, oh, I wish it was bigger. I wish it was deeper. I wish I had more friends. I wish whatever. Koi fish just get on with whatever they have available and make the most of it. And it's always 
enough for them. Koi fish always seem to be content with what they have. And abundance and joy and success is always available to them. So that's quite interesting. Right, now let's have a look at our everyday witch and let's see what how it elaborates on there is always enough. Okay, so we've got two cards here for you. Let me see if I can bring it up closer that you can see. On the left-hand side, we have the Seven of Swords and on the right-hand side, we have the Nine of Wands. So the Seven of Swords... I have a slightly different interpretation from the standard textbook interpretation of the Seven of Swords. My understanding of the Seven of Swords is a planning. Um, I want to say to you, this is the card of planning. It's telling you that there is something that you want to do, need to do, must do, have to do. But you can't just jump in and do it. It actually needs a little bit of planning. It needs a little bit of foresight. It needs a little bit of structure, okay? Because if you just jump straight in, like in this particular case, she's collecting the swords. She hasn't thought about how she's going to carry them or, or what, how she's going to do this. And her arms are now full, but she's now come across a couple more. And she's like, oh, how do I take those without dropping, letting go and destroying all this that I have? So she didn't really plan carefully what she needs to do. So you need to do some planning. Then the Nine of Wands, the other tarot card that we have here, um, yeah, feeling trapped and backed into a corner, feeling like, Yo, it's been a long battle. It's been a long day. It's been a long struggle. I don't know if I have the energy and the vitality and whatever it is to, to get through this anymore. I'm exhausted. I just can come to an end already, okay? So if we look at what we have so far, so we've got the koi spirit, the koi fish, which is telling us that there is always enough. We've got, and again, I think, you know, the seven of swords is is the card of i'm going to call it abundance because it's saying that there is so much more than you anticipate so much more than you realize whatever it is that you're needing to do the, whatever it is that you are wanting to do the swords that you're wanting to collect there's always going to be more there's always going to be more than you realize and then you anticipate so even when you're feeling exhausted feeling like it's been a long hard difficult road you know you are almost at the end so don't give up don't give up don't just walk away from the the, the extra additional swords because there is always going to be more you know you you're fighting a long hard a, a good fight you you're getting through it you're achieving so much even though you're feeling battered bruised and a little bit um hard done by okay let's look at these other tarot for some additional clarification on the situation so these two uh, um, tarot, well, this tarot deck is a photography or a photo deck. Um, and oh, just the images are just so amazing and the messages are phenomenal. So we have the first one we have is the two of pentacles. Okay, so if we have a look at the two of pentacles, it is farmland. All right. And we've got dry, dead, barren farmland. And we've got lush, green and beautiful farmland. Okay. And so it's a card of balance and it's a card of understanding which side you're on and what you need to do we can't always only focus on what's going well we have to put some time and effort and energy into things or, or other parts of our lives that are maybe not flourishing as well as they need to so we need to bring balance to all areas we can't only focus on the good we have to put some attention in there as well okay and the other one that we have let me just make some space here and then the other one we have is the Nine of Cups. And here we have a lady lying on the beach in her bikini. We've got the beer bottle over here, just in case you, you, you can't see it too clearly. Okay. And uh, life is good. Life is good. So when we bring this balance into our life, we will be able to enjoy the finer things. So let's have a look at the five cards that we've got and let's try and bring them together before we look at the last two oracle cards. So the koi fish spirit is telling you that there is always enough. It's telling you about abundance. It's reminding you about abundance and purpose and structure and things like that. You may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed with everything that you need to do because there hasn't been enough planning. You haven't had enough planning or, or you haven't planned enough on what you're going to do, how you're going to do it and how it's going to work. You may be feeling exhausted. You may be feeling at the end of your tether. You may be feeling like, I just don't know if I'm going to win this fight. I just don't know if I'm going to win this race. I just don't know if I'm going to get through this. Okay. But if you bring some balance into all areas of your life and not only focus on what's not working for you, not don't, because we do gen generally tend to do that. We do generally tend to focus on our troubles and our problems instead of everything. 
So here, bring balance into all areas of your life. Bring balance into the good and the bad so that you can enjoy the good life because it is available to you because there is always enough. So work your light oracle. Bring us some clarity. Bring us some understanding. The first one we have is dance. And it says do something to shift your vibration. Oh my gosh, I love that. Because we are clearly looking at these two cards here. And looking at this one here, we are clearly focusing on, on what doesn't really work for us right now. So do something to shift your vibration. Dance and have some fun. Dance and have some fun. Let me just see if you can read that there. Dance. Do something to shift your vibration. And the other one we have is soul family. Okay. And the soul family is telling you to call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. I love, 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 love that. Come on, camera, focus, focus, there we go. So let's see, the dance, do something to shift your vibration and call in your tribe, you don't have to do it alone. So, and again, I'm going to go back to the Seven of Swords. So traditional interpretation of the Seven of Swords is thievery, okay? Taking what doesn't belong to you. But again, I'm going to say to you, I, I like to use the interpretation of this card of planning because to me, the Seven of Swords is whether you're taking it, whether you allowed to take it, whether you should take it, whether it belongs to you or not, it doesn't matter. Thievery, if you are a thief and you are taking things that don't belong to you, you still have to have some kind of planning. And if you don't plan, it's going to fail. Okay, so that's why I like to use, because I don't believe in, in negative, I don't believe in thievery and things like that. So that's why I like to use this as the planning card. Okay, so there is abundance. There is more than enough for you. You're allowed to be happy, content in your life. But you do need to plan. You do need to have a little bit of structure. You do need to have a, a plan of execution of what you're doing, when you're doing it. And remembering here with our soul family, telling you that you need to call in your tribe. You don't have to do it on your own. So, so in your planning, plan to let people into your world to assist you. Yes, you are feeling exhausted. You are feeling like you are about to lose this battle, lose this, this fight because you've been doing it on your own. You know, it's it's one against 20 in this particular instance, okay? And and how fair are those odds? They're not at all. So bring some balance into your world. Learn to say no to people. Bring some balance. Focus on both the good and the bad. Focus on both aspects of your life so that you can enjoy the good life because you deserve it. So dance, do something to shift your vibration. Dance and have some fun. Call in your people. Allow others to help you. Don't say no. Say yes, please, if anybody wants to assist you in whatever it is that you are working with good friends those of you who chose bundle number three for your message i do hope you got a good message from this today i do hope that there was something that resonated with you i do hope you can bring it into your world in one way or another and i do hope it just gives you some guidance hope and inspiration for your future as always thank you for watching with love and blessings until next time bye bye